So the uh, program is going to start out right now, and right now it doesn't have any uh, templates um, recorded or any voice prints. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to do some. So I'll do the, uh, the digits. So I'm entering a name, and I'll record it and say 1. So it generated the spectrogram for the number 1, and it saved off its uh, print. So I'll do 2. 2. That's there. And then I'll do three. Three. Okay, so now it has three voice prints in it. Uh, now I'm going to send it into match mode. So now I will speak back one of those uh, three numbers, and then it'll go through and recognize which one, and they'll pop up a message box. The list box will also show the, uh, the values that it was uh, compared to the other ones to show you which... Uh, I don't know. You won't be able to see that too good, but I'll go ahead and I'll do it now. So, two. So we can see that it matched two. Uh, and it had a pretty good. So, right now we're looking, it's got one, two, and three. So, these are all the voice prints that it checked. And the lower the number, it's the, the closest match. So, one is about 1600, two is about 660, and three is about 1600. So, two was a. a, a good match compared to the other ones. So now we'll do another match. I'll say uh, 1. So we can see that the message box uh, matched 1. And I'll go 3. Okay, so now let's take out a match mode and add some more prints in here. So just uh, do some more numbers. I didn't get that one. 4. Five. So now it has five to go against. So let's uh, let's try some of the other numbers again. Two. So I put it back into match mode and it just recognized two. Let's try one of the new numbers. Five. And it recognized five. 